Well, two young men were arraigned in Mills County Court today, and another will be charged, all because of a fight and gunfire in Mills County Sunday night. It was a fight that involved the high school principal. Our Aaron Murray spoke, uh, went to court rather, and brings us the latest in this case. An affidavit is starting to paint the picture of what occurred Sunday in Glenwood. Now, this is the rental home of high school principal uh, Richard Hutchinson, and apparently that weekend, his stepson, Hurl Beecham, was there visiting. Now, the affidavit confirms that a group of six people walked by, and one was overheard saying a racial slur while on the phone. Hutchinson and his wife spoke to the group about using that language, and a fight broke out. Denver Cook punched Hutchinson unconscious, and then Colton McDaniel continued to fight with Beecham. Now, when the fight was over, uh, the county attorney says Beecham shot McDaniel in the legs. Charges for these three were filed today. Here is video of Cook leaving court. He was charged with felony willful injury and misdemeanor assault causing bodily injury. Cook did not bond out of jail. Now McDaniel was also in court for a misdemeanor assault causing bodily injury. McDaniel did bond out of jail today. A point of interest on this case as a case as well was if hate crime charges were going to be filed. So far, none have come out. We asked the county attorney if that type of charge is still expected to come about. We do not deem this a hate crime or a racially motivated crime. Um, and so it, that's why it was um, not charged accordingly. Beecham was not in court today because he was he has yet to turn himself in. Now he will face several charges, including intimidation with a dangerous weapon and assault. The county attorney office says to us they do expect him to turn himself in in the next 48 hours. John. Thanks, Aaron. And more information on Sunday's incident was being investigated. And some others were not even involved, were complicating matters on social media. And now the first arrest linked to that. Liam Whitehouse was arrested yesterday for alleged vigilante justice. And we've seen a post that he allegedly made on Facebook after Sunday's fight declaring a, quote, call to arms. He has since removed that message and said that he messed up and suggested police should be allowed to do their job. Police did pull Whitehouse over after that initial posting and found him armed with a gun and samurai sword. It is a felony and he could get two years in prison.